Good evening, I'm Carol Clark in News for Your Health. Over the past few weeks, we've seen signs that life is starting to return to pre-pandemic ways. Mask requirements easing, more events opening up, people finally getting to visit loved ones. But when will we know that things are definitely better? I talked with Dr. Rick Scott about that. He's co-chairman of the Vaccine Task Force for Prisma Health. So it's, that's hard to say, uh, and probably not by simply declaring that masks are no longer needed. Dr. Rick Scott has been working on the problem of COVID-19 since nearly the beginning. He helped open a COVID hospital in Atlantic City and then came to South Carolina in September of last year. He's worked on getting vaccines into arms through Prisma Health. It's uh, very comforting for us to see the statistics going down. Um, it seems as though uh, there is probably more immunity in the herd than people realize because a number of people never knew that they had it but have some uh, immunity to it already. We've got uh, about 42% of the population uh, vaccinated with two doses. We should continue to work at that. If you put together those two groups, South Carolina may be up to 65% who've either been vaccinated or had the disease. That's encouraging. So is what he's seeing or not seeing in the hospitals. When I look at the numbers across the state, uh, we have fewer people on ventilators now than any time in the past four months, fewer people hospitalized now than any time in the last four months. It's beginning to feel like uh, something is changing. But he also says it's not quite time to completely let down your guard. He says even if you've had COVID, you need the protection the vaccines can give. And that's why I think it's still good to keep your guard up in crowds where you're not necessarily certain uh, that everybody not wearing a mask has been vaccinated. Dr. Scott says among the things we don't know yet, the variants, mutations that run the risk of being more virulent than the original disease. That worry fuels the push to get vaccinated as soon as you can.